This quizzer is focused on the three development approaches which were adopted since the 1970s, namely, the women in development or the WIT approach, the women in development or the WAT approach, and the gender and development approach. Instruction. State which of the three development approaches did each of the following sentences relate to. This approach holds that the oppression of women stems largely from a neoliberal focus on improving women's reproductive and productive capacities. Answer. GATT approach. 2. This model does not deal with the disparities and power relations between men and women. Answer. WIT approach. 3. This model overlooks the major influence of the ideology of patriarchy and thus is insufficiently gendered. Answer. WAT approach. 4. The framework began to be understood as primarily an add-on to existing development policies. Answer. With approach. 5. It used the human rights framework to attain its goals. Answer. GATT approach. 6. This model does not challenge the gender-biased structuring of many societies and development programs which have the effect of excluding women. Answer. With approach. 7. This model was also criticized for its failure to engage with issues of dependency of third world states and women on international capital. Answer. What approach? 8. It treated women as a homogenized category, missing the impact of intersectional discrimination as a result of class and race. Answer. With approach. 9. This approach is held to be very difficult for non-governmental organizations NGOs, to implement is it seeks to confront the root causes of gender inequality, rather than implement short-term augmentations to the existing system. Answer. GATT approach. 10. Gender neutrality ignored gendered structural inequalities which had, and indeed continued to have, negative effects on women. Answer. WIT approach. 11. It used gender mainstreaming as a strategy to attain equity and equality. Answer. GATT approach. 12. It focuses mostly on enhancement of women's economic participation and access. Answer. With approach. 13. This model was introduced primarily by American liberal feminists in the early 1970s. Answer. With approach. 14. This approach fails to dig deeper into the systemic problems associated with the relationship between men and women. Answer. What approach. 15. This model is founded in socialist feminist ideology. Answer. GATT approach. 16. This framework holds that gender equality will be essential to improving women's positions, but still frames change in terms of providing women access to the productive sector. Answer. What approach. 17. This approach placed the importance of development and growth on women's economic capacity. Answer. With approach. 18. This model does not deal with the disparities in power relations between men and women. Answer. With approach. 19. This model overlooks the major influence of the ideology of patriarchy and thus is insufficiently gendered. Answer. What approach. 20. This model is known as being the non-confrontational approach, as it does not confront the gender issues. Answer. With approach. 21. It addressed the disparity of employment opportunities between men and women. Answer. With approach. 22. This model did not question modernization. Answer. With approach. 23. 
This approach fails to dig deeper into the systemic problems associated with the relationship between men and women. Answer. What approach? 24. It focuses mainly on women's economic participation and access. Answer. With approach. 25. This model does not challenge the gender-biased structuring of many societies and development programs which have the effect of excluding women. Answer. With approach. 26. The framework began to be understood as primarily an add-on to existing development policies. Answer. With approach. 27. This model was also criticized for its failure to engage with issues of dependency of third world states and women on international capital. Answer. What approach? 28. It failed to factor women's reproductive and informal sector work into its analyses. Answer. With approach. 29. It also treated women as a homogenized category, missing the impact of intersectional discrimination as a result of class and race. Answer. With approach. 30. This liberal feminist model failed to have a transformative effect on the lives of women. Answer. With approach. 31. Gender neutrality ignored gendered structural inequalities which had, and indeed continued to have, negative effects on women. Answer. With approach. 32. The exclusive economic focus of, integrating women into development, is often translated into exploitation of women as the targets of top-down development policies. Answer. With approach. 33. It used gender mainstreaming as a strategy to attain equity and equality. Answer. Yad approach. 34. This is a, neo-Marxist feminist approach, and it grew out of the, limitations of modernization theory. Answer. What approach. 35. This framework paved the way to the review and integration of gender into government's policies and program is to address the systemic inequalities. Answer. Gad approach.